Everyone, welcome. Welcome to you all. And congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Irons. <laughs> Josie and Charlie. Gosh, you're married. <laughs> I'm so happy that you are all here today to share this very special day with Josie and Charlie. So thank you to you all. I have to say that I'm the happiest and proudest mother a bride has ever had. And I know that her brother Jamie feels exactly the same. A huge thank you to our generous hosts, Josie and Charlie. How lucky are we to be celebrating their marriage in the beautiful gardens of their home, their pride and joy. So much thought and hard work planning this day with so much attention to detail. So thank you, darlings. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a beautiful princess happened to be walking past a cool, inviting glass of mango juice, <laughs> filled to the brim with ice. She was captivated and drawn towards it, tempted to take a sip. She resisted. Little did she know that at this moment, would change her life forever. Meanwhile, in a seaplane bound for the island, <laughs> sat a handsome prince, gazing down at the turquoise sea below, filled to the brim with exotic, colourful fish. He landed and walked down the jetty towards the mango juice, which had been placed there for him. He took a sip. Little did he know that this moment would change his life forever. Josie's father, Peter, would have been bursting with pride at the sight of his beautiful daughter today. Josie certainly has her father's strength and determination, but I'd like to think I gave her artistic flair and kindness. <laughs> <laughs> Josie, Josephine, named after my mum. How absolutely beautiful and radiant you look today, darling. I'm very proud mama here. <laughs> I feel so very happy and fortunate to have you, Charlie, as my son-in-law and husband, Josie. It feels odd to, for me to actually welcome you to the family now because I feel that we've been family since the day that we all met. Yeah. Already together you have such a strong relationship, working so well together and creating this beautiful home. There's a lovely Spanish saying that you have found your media naranja, your half orange, your better halves, your soulmates. What can I say about Charlie? Well, Charlie is our firstborn and entered life at a whirlwind pace. He was born three weeks early. He was always on the go, full of energy and excitement. The eldest child of three and always looking after his younger siblings, George and Scarlett. Charlie is energetic, enthusiastic, driven and has a thirst for learning. He is a talkative, sometimes too much, has st extremely good social skills, and he's hardworking and kind and caring. As anyone who knows Charlie will know, he will weave a story about Manchester United into every conversation. Charlie is a wonderful son of whom we are extremely proud. And now, Charlie, I say to you, I held her first. I loved her first. And a place in my heart will always be hers. And I cherish the thought that someday, you both might know what I'm feeling today when a miracle looks up to you. May your marriage be full of dreams realized support for each other and never-ending love.
we have come together to witness the marriage of Charles Martin Irons and Josephine Harriet Mary Fear, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy and to celebrate their love. My beloved spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, flowers appear upon the earth. The season for singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit, the blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. Set me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death. Passion, fierce as the grave, it burns like blazing fire. Many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly dismissed. I, Charles Martin Irons, take you, Josephine Harriet Mary Fear, take you, Josephine Harriet Mary Fear, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish till death us do part till death us do part according to God's holy law according to God's holy law in the presence of God I make this vow in, in the, the presence, presence of God, God I, I make, make this, this vow. vow Charlie and Josie have given their consent they've made their marriage vows to each other they have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Yay! Have you not seen in here? Well, I've seen parts. Well, I haven't seen any of this. Oh my god. I feel quite emotional. Oh my god, I feel quite emotional. This is unbelievable. This is all for us, darling. This is amazing, isn't it? Wow. Uh, amazing. Incredible. I can't believe this. We're definitely not going to get rid of that urn. Can I'm we just think Cloud Would original marquees just let us keep the marquee for like another kind of six months or something? Yeah, it's hard to get. Come and look at all the details. I can't believe this. Wow! This is spectacular. All the flowers, the Bertioli candle. Like everyone that's worked on this wedding has done everything to like. This is like Charlie's speech to all the suppliers. The best of their ability and beyond. Wow! Thank you to everyone. This is spectacular.
I cannot talk about Charlie and Josie without mentioning the two sleeping partners in Charlie and Josie's lives. I am, of course, talking about their children, Dexter and Dickens. Dexter, the intelligent, smart, instigator of trouble. And Dickens, his carefree, slightly intellectually challenged partner in crime. They are undoubtedly the love of their lives. I've been asked by a lot of people today, did I know about the Tress? And honestly, I had no idea how spectacular it would be. And to be honest, from the moment you walked down the church, I kind of forgot about, it's no disrespect to everyone here, I forgot, to, I forgot about everyone here and, and just got lost in the moment. So you look beautiful today, darling. Um, I never had the pleasure of meeting Josie's father, Peter, but I've been told by many people that there's a lot of elements of Josie that were in him and I you know I've heard nothing but magical stories about him and I hope he'd be very proud of of us together and I, I know he'd be very proud of what you've achieved you are a constant inspiration you behind the scenes you sort of softly influence so many people across the world to have positive lives um, and you know it should not be underestimated what a positive impact you have on people's lives on a daily basis it brings me enormous pleasure to introduce to the room Mr. and Mrs. Charlie and Josie Irons. As they begin this new chapter of their lives together, please join me in raising a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Irons, a couple to be truly admired. To their future happiness together, Charlie and Josie. Thank you.